It's Oscar night and we're at the night of 100 stars in Beverly Hills where celebrities will be watching the Oscar party since 1978 when Patty Chayefsky deprecated Vanessa Redgrave's hijacking her acceptance speech to make a political statement. Against that period when Nixon and McCarthy launched a worldwide witch hunt. Against those who tried to express in their lives and their work the truth that they believed in. I would like to say, personal opinion of course, that I'm sick and tired of people exploiting the occasion of the Academy Awards. <laughs> for the propagation of their own personal political propaganda. <laughs> I would like to suggest to Ms. Redgrave that her winning an Academy Award is not a pivotal moment in history, does not require a proclamation, and a simple thank you would have sufficed. We've seen now that it's become de rigueur among liberal Hollywood celebrities and presenters to use this platform to make a political statement, but is it right? Raised in Tasmania, so Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners. And if we kick them all out, you'll have nothing to watch but football and mixed martial arts, which are not the arts. Is it fair to the audience? Let's talk to some of the attendees and see what they think. My, my taste is that people, uh, you know, should uh, thank the folks that have helped them in the business and, and uh, give a little insight, something personal, and that would be it. That's what I think. So what's it like uh, officiating, emceeing at an event like this with so many stars? I don't know. I haven't done it yet. I don't do drugs anymore, so I can't even hallucinate what it's going to be like. I'm just going to bring, I'm going to honor Joe Bologna. He's a longtime hero of mine with Renee Taylor. How do you feel, do you feel about the uh, Oscars being used as a platform to advocate for a political perspective? I think that I'm a First Amendment guy, man. I think if you, if you build a platform in front of your house, it's okay. To me, it's patriotic to, 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 to speak your mind in this country. Are people exploiting this audience instead of talking about movies and acting? They're, they're, they're Americans first and uh, actors second, you know, and if they're, if they're, they can say whatever they want as far as I'm concerned, either side of the coin. I see people uh, voicing their, their uh, beliefs and makes it a free country. Yeah, but is the Oscars a place to project that to an entertainment, uh, a cinema audience? Well, everybody goes to the cinema. Vanessa Redgrave started, tried doing it, and Patty Chayefsky took her down in 78. Way before. Way before that. You know, so not to worry. You think your alien, uh, actors may be alienating part of the audience by talking politics? It's up to them. We're in a great country, man. We all kind of speak, including our president. He got to speak. We have to agree or disagree, but he's American, he's our president, you know, but he has his opinions and so do I. May we both get blessed. Using the platform to talk it. about politics. I hate it. It's the wrong platform. wrong platform. Wrong platform. How do you think the public feels about it? I think the public's sick of it. They're sick of it. They're sick of it. I mean, if you're coming from a place of knowledge, it's a little different, but uh, if you're just spewing stuff out of emotion, just do it in a different way, you know. Write a book. We're asking people whether they think that the entertainment industry in Hollywood today has become a little too politicized. And I mean the music industry as well yeah. as film. I think you so. know, I, I think so. I, I don't like to get into politics. I'm not an expert on politics. So I really try not to. And I have my points of view. The, what I don't like that I see is that we're not getting along with each other. We can't let politics do this to us. Uh, do you feel any uh, politicalization uh, of Hollywood these days? You know, Hollywood has always had a political side to it. And I think in this uh, particular era, it's more important than ever. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'll bet that there will be some political speeches made at the Oscars. I think we're all sure of that, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, I was a b big fan of what Meryl Streep had to say, and uh, uh, I think if it's done properly and maybe a little subtly, it would be all right. Thank you. You mean too much politics and entertainment? Personally, I do. 
I think that, you know, when someone... No, I think that in my, in my humble opinion, I think that uh, entertainers need to, or actors, uh, entertainers as we are, need to stick to either entertaining or politics. I'm not a, a politician. I don't know all uh, the really, really, really important parts. I have some ideas, but I really don't know all the pieces, all the parts. So I'm just going to stay. Hi, Trace. I'm going to stay. Uh, Trace. Oh, cool. These are our friends. He wants to know about what you think about politics. You feel, you feel uh, there's uh, too much politics in the entertainment industry lately? Yeah, I mean, I'm, that's not what I'm here to talk about tonight. No. Neither, neither should anybody else. Exactly. You know, this is a chance for everybody to get together and pat each other on the back how about how good of a job they did over the last year or so. At what they really do. So I'm going to go pat somebody on the back. Right here, baby. Right here. All right, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good seeing you. Do you feel that politics have entered into... Who works, who doesn't work, who's in favor, who's out of favor? You mean who's a Trump supporter, who isn't? <laughs> an example. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, I mean, I do. I'm obviously not a huge Trump supporter. Um, I'm a what, what do you mean, obviously? I, well, my social media following and my fans in Hollywood know that I'm not. Oh, okay. But, okay. Um, but I am a huge feminist, and I do believe in women's rights. Um, so yeah, I mean, yes and no. I think there's a balance. The message behind my sign is resist and persist. Resist what? This Trump administration. Do you feel that the Oscars or Oscar events are an appropriate venue to be talking about things other than entertainment and movies? Absolutely. Because <clears throat> this is the most dangerous time in our democracy. It's dangerous for our country. It's dangerous for each of us as individuals. And it's dangerous for the world. You say, you, you say you're a feminist, but yet you use your, your uh, sexuality as part of your persona. How do you uh, reckon the two? You know, I feel like women need to unite, regardless of somebody wears, you know, a suit that covers their entire body or something, you just wear a bikini. I think that women need to unite, and I think that is a true feminist. Women need to come together, regardless, as long as you aren't hurting anyone. I mean, I feel like the power of women uniting doesn't matter if you're wearing combat boots or stilettos. I don't think it matters. How do you feel about uh, the celebrities involved in the awards using the broadcast to preach liberal politics? Wrong. I, don't, I, I think it's the wrong place at the wrong time. I believe in free speech, of course. I believe in the Second Amendment, but I just don't believe that it's the right place. I think entertainers should entertain and politicians should politic. That's what. That's just my opinion, which I do respect. I feel the exact same way. I respect the office of the President of the United States, and we all have to respect that office and making fun of it and saying nasty things is bad for our whole country. It, it's not a, Other countries laugh at us when they see us knocking our leaders. I don't care who our leader is, we should support him. How well is Hollywood accepting the new administration? Are you kidding? <laughs> Shadow, how, what are your feelings? I think that they're accomplished, smart, intelligent people who have opinions and I enjoy hearing what they have to say. Sometimes it's quite articulate. Meryl Streep was very articulate and when they when they've really given it great thought I want to hear it how do you feel that the uh, the Hollywood is accepting this new administration <laughs> it's not <laughs> yeah how you doing yeah it's not but it's it's this country is health self-healing self-adjusting it will be all fine Everything will be good, yes. Well, my, my perspective, I, I make no bones about it, and I tell anybody who asks me, I'm a conservative Republican, and that's the, that's the way I look at uh, my politics. And uh, I think that uh, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, black, white, orange, pink, purple, everybody should respect the office of president, like Sandy said. He's our president. The better he does, the better our country does. 
If our country does well, he'll do well and vice versa. It's the way I see it. Yeah, but this, all this fighting is not going to get us anywhere. We should all love everybody. We should try to come together. Try to bring the country together. I don't, I don't, and I think that's what he's trying to do. It's I not, don't dislike anybody that doesn't agree with us We love everybody. Uh, I don't think your political views ever come up if they want you for a movie or not. You know, um, Nobody's asked me in an audition, uh, are you Republican or Democrat? I mean, what people choose to use their voices for or lend their names to is a very personal thing that they do outside of their work. But I love what Meryl Streep said, and I love that she made a statement, um, but it wasn't exactly uh, political, though it was. I think she skated the line very well. But is the Oscars an appropriate place, or are these Glo Golden Glo Globes in her case, is it an appropriate venue to maybe alienate part of the entertainment audience? Um, I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but I think as far back as you know, Marlon Brando sending a uh, Native American up on stage to receive his award, it's just going to happen. I mean, performers are very passionate about their causes, and uh, if anything good comes out of being a celebrity, it's to have a voice and to advocate for things that you believe in. So far be it from me to tell them what's right or wrong for them when they have the world stage. It seems like the majority is anti-Trump in the industry. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I definitely think it, there is discrimination against people who are, you know, favor him. Some things I yeah. feel might be warranted, and then some things are, you know, agenda based. You know, it's 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 tricky because it's all about that line, you know. And so some people go too far. But, you know. I think it's a little unfair. I think we ought to maybe ought to stick to the awards a little bit more, but. They have so much fun with them uh, in the beginning of the broadcast, and it gives them somewhere to jump off of. I don't think it really means anything in the whole scope of things. It just means one person's opinion, you know? Do you feel that the, the, the uh, Hollywood community, yeah. is, a, a, as tolerant liberals, are tolerant of diverse viewpoints? No, they're not tolerant of diverse, no way. <laughs> no way. I mean, I was invited to World of Wonders event, Surviving Trump, which was, you know, pro-Democrat, take Trump down, you know, and I was there. And it's funny because they don't want to hear anything good about Trump, which is fine. You're allowed to, whatever, you, you don't have to like anybody. We don't. This is not a political event. No, it's not. Did you go But yes, it, it is. But in a way, it is this year. Yeah. This year, the Academy Awards, per se, and anything tied to it is turning into that with Meryl Streep saying stuff or, you know, Academy Award winners and things. So it has. Politics has gone huge this year, whether it's good or bad. Huge. However you look at it, it's you think it, But you think it's right? I didn't say it was right. I'm asking what you think. Well, I think it's a little too much, my opinion. I really think it's too much. I think it's too negative. I don't want to hear it every god darn day. <laughs> I don't need to know all this, and I don't want to know it all. Do you feel that Hollywood has become too politicized? Yes. Absolutely. Oh God, yeah. yeah, we talk about yeah. that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Is there discrimination based on someone's political attitudes? Uh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's always been like that, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Always been that, in this field? With, with social media and everything else, it's everything is yeah. it's ridiculous. I mean, uh, even the... Um, the political correctness and it's like the people are already they're, they're just set to a negative default you know that they just jump on anything that can possibly be, be negative it's, it's kind of it's kind of sad to me because if it's something that I believe in maybe I think it should be spoken about but if I don't then I'm you know what I mean <laughs> so but I think if it's something that and it's, it's weird because there's a line it's it's where you draw your line, man. It's like, it, it, there's things in the past that, that, that some actors have said that I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for, and there's things that I want to hit them in the face with a tomato for. So are the actors better off just keeping it out of this uh, forum? I think, I think so. I think I can agree with that, because it's not the, time, not the place for that. Yeah. And there's other platforms yeah. I'm sure they have you know, the time to do that. Yeah, so, so, so you're actually making me come up with my answer. My answer is, even for the things that I've, I've um, applauded, I still would take 
the, the position of keeping it out of, you know, and, and here I am saying something that I hope, now, now am I going to get attacked for saying this? It's like, you know, but it, anyway, but that, that's, that's where, that's what I feel. It, it should be the political view. How do you feel about the entertainment industry becoming so partisan? It's not healthy. I'm the, one of the founders of the Los Angeles High School for the Performing Arts. And we want to have everybody enjoy the arts because the arts are for everyone, regardless of race, color, or creed, or political persuasion. And that's the professionalism of the arts. And I would like to see that restored once again, as it had been in the past. Do you feel uh, there may be validity to the idea of uh, liberal prejudice against Republicans or conservatives in the entertainment and creative fields? There has been some. And if we're going to support diversity, we need to respect different points of view and still respect one another and work with one another. As a supervisor, I worked with liberals and conservatives, but we attack problems and not people. That's what we need to be focusing on, solving our problems, working together, and at the end of the day, being friends. Being friends. friends. Respect is what's important. Respect your opponent, and your opponent respects you, and together we can have a better society. It's nice to hear from Hollywood celebrities up close that not all are in support of this virtue signaling that takes place within the Hollywood industry. And now perhaps under the Trump administration, we'll get to hear more voices, greater explanation, less discrimination. Reporting from Hollywood, Scott Jacobs for Democast.